Well, one group closely watching what's happening in Houston, the Detroit Lions. Multiple members of the, both the team and coaching staff call Houston home. And with loved ones and family members in the storm's path, our Jamie Edmonds shows us how they're all hoping for the best while fearing the worst. The team may be preparing for the fourth preseason game against Buffalo, but at least a few Lions, their thoughts are back at home in Houston. Glover Quinn admits he hasn't put his phone down in days. That's all I do. I look at my phone. We got cameras around the house, so I look I'm looking at the cameras all day, just seeing like the water, seeing what's going on, trying to assess it. Quinn's wife and three boys, aged two, five, and seven, are back at their house in Houston. As you can see from this picture he shared with us, the water isn't inside, but it is outside, and the streets are flooded. Does football seem secondary right now? Oh, definitely. You know, I'm a long way away, so it's nothing that I can physically do, but, you know, like I said, just try to stay calm, keep her calm. And Eric Ebron is about to be a father. His fiance is in the Houston area. It's kind of hard to go to sleep. I mean, when you think about it, you got a kid and everything. Both men say it's hard to focus on football at the moment, but they're keeping in touch as much as possible. You know, she's seven months pregnant, going on eight, so it's kind of just things you think about. Hard to, you know, to a lot like, of FaceTiming, a lot of oh, a lot of FaceTiming, long nights. Both are blessed that their families are safe, but they say they feel for those in Houston who've lost everything. And it's, it's sad, you know, and the more and more you look at, the more and more you see it, the sadder it is. Both Quinn and Ebron say they hope to get back to Houston over the weekend. Coach Caldwell was asked what if they find flight sooner, even before the preseason game on Thursday. Caldwell said, quote, family comes first. In Allen Park, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4.